So when you need scan tool capability, you get yourself this. When you need more scan tool capability, you get yourself this. But when you need way more scan tool capability, you get yourself this, the Top Don Phoenix Nano. Let's unpack this together and see what's inside right now. Hey everyone, this is Tom with Fresh Vintage Garage. Today we're checking out the Top Don Phoenix Nano. Big shout out to Top Don for sending this over and sponsoring this video. Taking a look at the Top Don, this is the Artie Dag 500, and then we have the Artie Dag 900 Lite. We just mentioned these in the pre intro because if you're DIYer, heavy DIYer, these may be something you want to check out. I'm going to set them on the floor here, but definitely check out the video for both of those. The, the links for each video is in the description of the one you're watching right now. Today we're actually taking it up not one notch, but several notches with the Phoenix Nano. I'm going to open this as I talk about the actual unit because there's a ton of different stuff in here. So much stuff, in fact, uh, capability-wise that I'm not even going to mention all of them. I'll just quickly run through and we'll put the screenshots from Top Don's website on the video you're watching right now. Uh, everything from ECU coding to bi-directional control can and a whole host of other things. FCA, AutoAuth, a bunch of different things. Uh, inside the box here we have paperwork that no one ever reads. We have the actual OBD2 cable. This is not a Bluetooth unit. We will make that note. And then the power adapter is here. So we're just going to go ahead and put all this back in here. Grab ourselves the actual scan tool. There we go. Now the scan tool itself feels... We did this have this out of the box, charging it up and doing updates and stuff. So uh, The scan tool itself feels very, very solid, very durable. You just go ahead and turn it on. So there is our home screen. You know, overall feels pretty solid. There's a nice kickstand to it. So there's that. It does have a camera on it. Let me just show you here. So there is the camera. I don't know what it looks like, but I think it looks good. So there's that. And then we'll dive right into the actual software here. So this is the software itself. And like I was saying, there's so many different features in here, everything from deeper diagnostics. There's actually OBD2 code reading, you know, the usual stuff. And then there's uh, live data graphing, live data streaming, uh, a bunch of other different things. I even see ADOS support on here, which I didn't even know this thing did. So, all that to say, we're going to jump outside into my uh, Honda CRV. We want to actually dig into the check engine light, see why the check engine light's on, see what all computers this can find in my CRV. Let's go ahead and jump outside right now. Hey everyone, before we jump outside, I just wanted to mention our website, scantooldepot.com. Definitely go check it out because you can buy the Top Don Phoenix Nano directly on our site, scantooldepot.com. And we'll leave a link to the Phoenix Nano on our website in the description of the video you're watching right now. All right, let's jump outside. So we are here in my 2005 Honda CRV. And I uh, just wanted to point out we have the actual OBD2 cable hooked up. This isn't Bluetooth, but at the price point uh, and all the other features that this has, I think it's a, a worthwhile trade-off. Some quick tech specs here. Uh, this is an 8-inch screen. It is basically an Android tablet built uh, into an actual scan tool. And with that, uh, there's a 64 gigs of memory, 4 gigs of RAM. I think it has a 2 gigahertz processor, but... The key thing you want to hear is uh, it has two years of software with this right out of the box. It does have Wi-Fi. Uh, after the two years, you may be asking yourself, how much is a subscription? Honestly, we don't know. So send us a comment uh, in two years on the uh, channel because we don't know right now. So all joking aside, I did want to shout out my little buddy here. We went to Las Vegas, Nevada for SEMA show. And uh, we met Bill Goldberg. We met Bear Grill, uh, Tony Stewart, and a whole bunch of other people. So... Uh, awesome cars, amazing machines, custom rides out there. Definitely check it out on our other channel, Fresh Vintage. But uh, we're going to go ahead and open up the Phoenix Nano app here. And let's go ahead and we'll dive right into the software. So we are at the home screen here, and I'm just going to jump right into the auto scan. And I will make a quick note. We did have to register this off video or off screen. Uh, it's connecting to VCI, which there's no VCI per se, but it says it's connected, so that's good. Make sure you have the ignition on on the car you're working on here. And we'll read the VIN. And I believe from here it should ask us what your make and model or what OEM we have. And so it does actually diagnose your make and model here. So let's go right into diagnostic. And we're 
choose US. Stick around later in the video. We're going to go through the actual uh, reset functions and you know, see what's behind that ADOS button and a whole host of other things. So just stick around later in the video so we can check all that out. And let's do a system selection. I'm just going to make a note. If I click on health report, what that will do is it says it'll take some time. I'm not going to click on that, but it'll literally touch every single thing in the car, every computer, every module, and give you a bill of health, both good and bad, good, bad, and ugly kind of thing. And you can hand that to a customer and say, well, here's the two or three things, or here's the critical things you need to focus on with your customer and your actual repair of the vehicle. System selection is kind of a, a broken out or a chunked out version of that. You can see we have a whole bunch of different stuff in here and quite a bit of stuff, which is very, very impressive. But I'm just going to go up to the, the you know super common one here, the engine and transmission, uh, the actual diesel and fuel injection system here. And let's go ahead and read the check engine light that is on my dash right now. So we have two things here. We actually have catalyst, so I'm guessing that's probably my uh, uh, catalytic converter, and then high voltage. So let's look at code search. Let's see what code search does. So it's just Googling. Okay, so it's just doing a quick Google search. And I will make note, obviously, this has Chrome built into it, but uh, this is a quick, real common, everyday search. And so if we wanted a report, I'm going to hit report here, and we can actually generate a report for a customer per se. So you can see you can put the shop's information in here. I'm not going to spend all the time to do that. But if we wanted to read intermittent codes, so this is a temporary code. It's the actual, let me click on that. Well, it won't let me actually see the entire code, but that is a P0420. Let me get out of here. And if we want to read data streams, we can just come in here. And I'm going to select all just to see what happens. And so you see we're getting some information. I'm going to actually start the uh, CRV here. And it does say below 11 volts because we've had the ignition on for a little bit of time. So it's good that we're running the, uh, the engine here. So you can see all of the different data points and let me graph some of this. So there's our battery charging up at 14.4 volts and what else do we have here? CLV, let's take a look at the CLV here. There's that and I'm gonna give it a little gas, idle it down. There we go. Now we should be able to like do an actual compare or comparison. Let's choose a few of these. Graph, combine, here we go. Okay, so I'm just gonna click whatever this will let me click. Oh, there's a max, sorry, there's a max of, okay, let me go back to combine. You can only have X number, like four, it looks like at the same time so but very cool to see if you need to chase like some kind of random electrical issue let me hit the brake switch and see if this jumps up yeah so you see the uh what was that the gold gold colored line there so if you're chasing that electrical gremlin or something uh, really cool to see the ability to, to like dig into the software here and and see what's going on but this is all of them this is all of them at the uh, same time. And I thought I could scroll through those, but apparently touching the screen takes you into that individual one. So really cool to see. Let me actually turn the car off and then we'll turn the ignition back on. Forgive the beeping. Now, if you want to do an actuation test, let's see what's in here. Probably won't be able to hear it, but I believe I can actuate the radiator fan and just turn, basically turn the fan on. So we're going to turn it on. And you can't hear it on the video, but I can hear it running. And now it's off. 
And I will make a note that this is a uh, 2005 CRV. Please exit the current function first. There we go. This is a 2005, so your list for like a 2020 Outback or something will be much, much uh, larger. Back at this screen, we're just underneath the system selection. We're going to go to common functions here. And these are a lot of the super common resets, including actually quite a few that are not so common. Adaptive gearbox, Windows calibration, and quite a few other things in here. ADOS calibration. So really cool to see the amount of uh, productivity and, uh, you know, it's almost like an all-in-one tool, like a digital toolbox here. I'm not sure what system scan is, but uh, okay, so this is kind of a variation of the health report. We didn't show you the health report, but this is doing a very similar thing with a note that you can actually click into each section, like the uh, fuel injection system, and then the transmission system, and so on and so forth. We're not going to run through all of this, but uh, I just wanted to make that note and, uh, and show you that here. Let's go back to, okay, so just be prepared if you want a really loud, annoying sound. This is a great one here for you. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that sound is built in from Top Don, so it kind of makes us laugh when we, uh, when we first, uh, first had it happen. Uh, so scan is very similar to auto scan. And in, you know, this sense, you're just going to go through and find your vehicle... So here's our Honda diagnostic software, and we're not going to go very far in here. I just wanted to show you, this is kind of a manualized step-by-step -step version of the auto scan that you just saw. We'll just let it start scanning. Okay, so here we are here, and I'm not even going to go any further because it's taking you to the same screen where it has the health report and system selection and stuff like that. And I'm pretty sure we're going to hear the same sound again. There we go. So let's go back to the main screen. I want to see what's in services. And this is more of a formal, you know, button uh, actual setup for the same services and the resets we saw. So Windows calibration, steering angle reset. But, uh, a lot of different features in here. And let's jump into, obviously, updates are where your software, software updates are at. We're not going to show you more than a few seconds of this, but... If you need software updates, like we said, two years comes with this unit out of the box. Uh, let's look at ADOS. I'm not sure what is in here, but we have ADOS calibration. Please confirm, activate calibration authorization. Sure. I can assure you this CRV has no ADOS uh, type radar, sensing anything, cameras, anything. But uh, so, you know, kind of see the actual, like, starting stages of calibrating a car and the, the actual um, radar systems in it. Let's go to modules here. So we have an immobilization programmer. Now, this is a separate item. Uh, if we can find the link for it, we'll put it in the description of the video you're watching now. But uh, there's a disclaimer about using this. So... You can do some immobilization programming with this actual Phoenix Nano, but uh, we'll leave the link for it in the description of the video. And it didn't make the noise that time. Interesting. Okay. So let's go back home here. And I'm not sure what support is. I'm guessing that's like online tech support through Top Don. I agree and continue. Sure, we don't know what we're agreeing to, but okay, so Team Viewer is an actual like uh, almost like a zoom of sorts uh, if you have a zoom call or a teams video call it lets the technicians and maybe even the engineers in the conversation get into the actual scan tool if needed just to see what's going on so you're not just like sending them emails and uh, you know random screenshots uh, library let's see what's in the library itself here okay so vehicle coverage a whole bunch of other stuff and let's see what kind of vehicles show up here and let's look for, this is kind of a mixture of everything, because not only does it have the OEMs, but you can see gearbox relearn and then gas particulate filter regeneration. So this is kind of a mixture of stuff in here. And it does have email, it does have a camera, like we said, um, and a bunch of other odds and ends in here. It does have the web browser, Chrome browser built in. And let's do this here. So there's Top Don's website, and it's just loading. It is an older version of Chrome, but it's still secure, so it's uh, good for general Internet browsing. Or if you want to go to YouTube and watch Fresh Vintage Garage videos, you can do that on your scan tool as well. OK, 
Okay, getting back to the main home screen here. That's most of the stuff in here. If you want to send them feedback and then user info, there's just random uh, settings and stuff in here. So, you know, wrapping up the video here, I really like the uh, the Phoenix Nano. This is a really solid, very capable unit. Forgive any glare you're seeing on the screen here, but this is a very small taste of what Top Don has to offer in their Phoenix series. This is literally called the Nano for a reason. And you think about it, you go up, up, and away, so to speak, in their Phoenix lineup. You can do a ton of different stuff. I make that note to say we'll leave the link for Top Don's website and the other Phoenix products in the description of the video you're watching now, along with this and one or two other scan tools that we would say are similar to this that we've done videos on. Uh, with that, if you like scan tools, if you like shop equipment, if you like keeping your cars fixed up and certified fresh on the road, Fresh Vintage Garage is your channel. Please like and subscribe, and thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.